overall thoughts on the game? Yeah, I mean, I think it was a better performance for us. It's tough not getting the result, but I think we've had more chances and more possession than we have in other games. And so I think that's always a positive, especially with a couple players playing some different positions. Um, it's good to see that coming out of it, even though we didn't get exactly what we wanted from the game. Seemed like you played with the formation. It seemed like you played a little bit more of a, an outside back role. Um, what did you see from that three back and then and Taylor getting forward. Yeah, I think that's a, always a positive um, with our wing backs, as you would call it, getting forward, especially Taylor getting an all, a lot of options. Um, end line, she gave us some really good chances in both halves. Um, so yeah, I think that's the main positive um, coming out of that formation. And then as well, um, me and Tori were able to get into some good spaces to distribute into our forwards as well. What's it like dealing, you know, you prepare all week for a game on Saturday night and then you don't get to play and you've got to come out here in the morning on, I assume was going to be an off day. Um, what is that like having to sort of shift gears and get back prepared? Yeah, it's definitely a little bit of adversity. Um, you tailor your whole day towards the game. I know a couple of players were having caffeine at a little later hours of the night, so it was a bit tough getting to bed yesterday. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's we faced some weird situations before being soccer players, and so that's, that's nothing different. Um, I think it's fun having it at our normal training time, so I think we're normally ready to go at 10 a.m. in the morning, so that wasn't too bad. Um, how did the field, I mean, obviously the an enormous amount of rain. Um, how did the field play? I mean, it looks pretty decent considering, but... Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised uh, coming out here this morning with how it uh, drained out. I was a little bit skeptical when they were saying that it only took an hour, but I guess they were right. The grounds crew um, really wasn't bad at all. There weren't any puddles, so yeah, I was pretty happy with it. Is it a little different playing Houston sits so deep? So when you're playing in the three back, you're having more of the ball than you normally would um, in the position you're playing tonight, at least to me it seemed that way. Um, how does that change things for you compared to a lot of the other high pressing teams in the league? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it provides positives and negatives. I think with a high pressing team, one of my skill sets might be skipping um, in front of the forwards and so giving our midfielders some more time. but. This, I think, also we can engage um, higher up the pitch, which is great in giving our forwards more time with the ball. Um, so yeah, I think there's both positives and negatives that come from it, for sure. Um, kind of unfortunate there. You guys made basically one huge mistake, and it cost you the game. If you look at the stats, if you look at you know the chances, mm -hmm. you guys have the better of it. Um, how frustrating is that for you guys? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's really frustrating. I think it's positive that we're creating more of those chances than we have in past games, but um, if you can't score goals, you can't win games, and so I think um, clinical finishing is what it comes down to. Uh, it's good we're creating the chances, but it's not good enough that we're not scoring goals from it. Yeah.